Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on volume of pyramids, cones, and spheres. Our first example deals with the volume of a pyramid, and this can be found by taking one-third the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. And so here in our first example, we can write down that formula. Volume equals one-third the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. And in this case, our base is a rectangle, and so volume is going to equal one-third length times width times height. So volume is going to be one-third times 15 times 15, and the height here is 12. When I multiply these four numbers together, my product is 900 inches cubed. And just as a little bit of a side note, if you were to take your 15 times 15 times 12, that product is 2,700. Now, when it comes to multiplying by a fraction, 2,700 times 1 third, that is the same thing as 2,700 divided by 3. Anytime you have a fraction where the numerator is just 1, you can divide by the denominator. So 2,700 divided by 3 is another way to get the 900. Moving on. Volume of a cone. The volume V of a cone with radius R is one-third the area of the base, pi R squared, times the height H. So volume equals one-third area of the base times the height, just like our pyramids, except our base is a circle. So one-third pi r squared times h. So now we can find the volume of this cone, round to the nearest tenth. Well, if we start with volume equals one-third area of the base times the height, again, same formula as volume of a pyramid, except this time our base is a circle. So this is going to be one-third pi r squared times the height of the cone. So volume is going to be one-third times 3.14 times 5 and 5 tenths squared times the height, which is 8. When I multiply all these numbers together, my volume is 253 Point two nine, and this 3 is just repeating. I'm asked to round to the nearest tenth, so I'll look over at the hundredths. The 9 is going to round the number in the tenth spot up, so volume is going to be 253 and 3 tenths meters cubed. So the volume of a cone is very similar to the volume of a pyramid, with the big difference being our base is a circle instead of the rectangular square. In our third example, we have the volume of a sphere. The volume V of a sphere with radius R is four-thirds times pi times the radius cubed. And so V equals four-thirds pi R cubed is our formula. And that's what we'll start with in this example. Volume equals four-thirds pi R to the third power. So volume is going to be 4 thirds times 3.14 times 5 to the third. And this one I'm just going to write out a little bit. 4 thirds times 3.14. 5 to the third power, of course, is not 5 times 3. It's 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. I'm going to keep the 4 thirds for a moment and just multiply the 125 by 3.14 to get 392.5. And just again, as a side note here, if we're going to take our 392.5 and look to multiply that by 4 thirds, in a calculator, what you could do is take 392.5 you can multiply it by 4, and that result is 1,570. 
And then you can take the 1,570 and divide that by 3, which is 523 with that 3 repeating. So multiplying by 4 thirds is the same as multiplying by 4, the numerator, then dividing by 3, the denominator. So our volume here is equal to 523 and 3 tenths feet cubed. In example 4, a spherical beach ball has a diameter of 12 inches. Find the volume of the beach ball. Well, our volume formula is for a sphere, volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. We're given a diameter of 12, so be careful. Our radius here is going to be half of that, which is 6. So volume is going to equal 4 thirds times 3.14 times not the 12, but the 6 to the third power. 6 to the third power is 6 times 6 times 6, which is 216 times 3.14 times 4 thirds, and our volume is going to be equal to 904 and 32 hundredths inches cubed. All of our examples so far have had us round to the nearest tenth, so we might as well do that here. Volume is going to be 904 and 3 tenths inches cubed. So that's part one of our problem. Then, find how long it would take to deflate the beach ball from a slow leak if the leak lets air escape at a rate of one and a half cubic inches per minute, round to the nearest tenth. Well, what we're going to do here is set up a little bit of a proportion. We're given that it's escaping at one and five tenths cubic inches per one minute. If we set that equal to over here, another proportion that's inches cubed per minute, we can put our volume in here at 904 and 3 tenths for our x minutes. We don't know. That's what we're looking for. So when we cross multiply here, we'll have 1.5 times x is equal to the 904.3 times 1, which is just 904.3. And if we divide by the 1 and 5 tenths from both sides, our simplified answer is 602.86. And when we round that to the nearest tenth, this is going to be 602 and 9 tenths minutes. That's a really slow leak, 602 and 9 tenths minutes. If you divided by 60, which would be your minutes in an hour, you could get about 10 hours as well. So we find the volume, then we set up a proportion to find our minutes. And that is it for this lesson on volumes of pyramids, cones, and spheres. Good luck.